Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Ryan. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Today, let's have a look at this native 1080p projector, a budget one from Top Resis. This is the model T8. It's a compact one. Let's do a quick unboxing and then we go through our series of tests like we normally do on the channel. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Click that red button. Thank you very much for that. All right, guys, let's have a look what we have here. Let me just remove this bag and voila. Looks good. Let's put it here on the side for now. There's also this rubber lens cover. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. This is a budget model, 4,500 lumens of brightness. It comes in three variants. Have a look at that as well. So over here we have a remote, typical remote, not too fancy. You need to supply your own batteries, of course. There is also this AV adapter, so you can plug your RCA devices. And a power lead, an European one. In my case, I have this UK power adapter. Over here, there's the user manual, written in English. And last but not least, guys, the projector itself. Let's see what we have here. We have a white body with a black matte front. We have these touch buttons on the top. Compact size. <laughs> there you go. On the front, alongside with the lens, you have some writing LED projector, LCD image system. On this side, we have some ventilation. Looks like the speaker over there. On the back of the projector, we have one HDMI only, two USBs, one AV port, and one headphone jack. That's also the IR receiver. On the other side, some more ventilation. And at the bottom, we have some specs and we have this screw on the front of the projector so you can raise and lower the projection. Regarding the top of the projector, you have your focus dial, manual focus dial. On the other end, the keystone is electronically adjusted. You have vertical and horizontal, so thumbs up for that. Over here, you can see the buttons, very cool feature. I really like these buttons. And they do this sound when you press the buttons for some reason. Over you get the logo 1080p. Yeah, it does look good. It's a compact one. Although it's um, it's a budget projector, but it doesn't look cheap, if you know what I mean. Yeah, have a look at the link down below for the price at the moment you're watching this. Over you get this lens cap. I'm not very convinced with this rubber lens cap. Um, does the job, but I think they could figure out some other solution in my honest opinion. Okay guys, let's uh, plug this on, let's do our series of tests like we normally do on the channel. Let's see what this projector can do. According to the manufacturer, the screen size goes from 50 inch to 200 inch and the projection distance from 1.2 to 4 meters. Okay guys, let me start by showing you the menu. So here you have the picture settings. Good thing that you can see the temperature of the LED lamp. Over here you have the sound settings, clock, and here is where you can adjust your keystone, horizontal and vertical. So this will be electronic adjustment, as you can see, same for the vertical one, good stuff. Over here you can flip or rotate the screen, software update and factory. Uh, restore factory settings. Okay, moving on to YouTube. So the projector is connected to the Mi Box 3 you're gonna use for this test. So the projection size is 88 inch and it's from a distance of 98 inch. Here you can see that the projector supports uh, receiving resolution superior to 1080p, but of course it will show just 1080p Let's have a look at another video so you guys can see different different scenes, the whites, the blacks. Have a look at the details as well. I'm pretty impressed to be honest with you guys. I'm really enjoying this projector so far. 
Yeah, not too bad. I want to take the opportunity to thank the, the producers and creators of these small YouTube videos we show on the channel when we do these reviews. Thank you for that, guys. On this clip, we can see the RGB colors, the scale of grays, the whites, the blacks, and the detail of the lines uh, where you can see the sharpness or not of the projection. Just to double check, yeah, we're receiving a 4K signal on this native 1080p projector without any issues. Let's have a look in detail at the image quality. This is projected on my living room wall, painted in white, so no screen here, nothing fancy, just the living room wall. This is my end for size comparison, like we normally do. And here you can see the lines, you can see the colors itself. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about the projection quality of the projector. Over here, there's not too much blur. Normally you get blur on the corners. But to be honest, with this one, there's not too much. Nothing to be pointed out. Here you can see the lines once again. I'm trying to show you the best I can. Let me show you this side here, guys. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. There's a slight... Nah, I don't think there's too much blur there. That's probably a bit more... Less sharp, and let's put it that way, on the edges than, than in the middle. But it's pretty good. And bear in mind, guys, this is uh, a budget project it costs 100 and something pounds not too expensive in my honest opinion let's hear the fan noise and the sound of the speaker more of the fan noise later in the video let's turn the living room lights on alexa turn on living room lights alexa turn living room lights to full brightness yeah, we do lose a lot of um, quality with the lights on, although the camera is a bit overexposed. But yeah, there you go. That is a reality, as you see in real Alexa, life. Turn living room lights to 50%. Alexa, turn living room lights to 10%. Alexa, turn off living room lights. Yeah, although it does an okay job when you have some light in the room, to get the full potential of this projector, you need to turn everything off. Moving on to another test. Let's have a look at some Netflix here. Yeah, you get that cinema feeling watching movies on this projector. Of course, it won't replace a TV of this size, a big size TV, probably will be better in terms of quality, but it's that cinema feeling you get. I quite like that. And the sound from the built-in internal speaker is not too bad. Let's now have a look at some colors here, different scales of colors. In terms of contrast, this project has a contrast of 800 to 1. It's not the best we've seen in terms of numbers, but in real life is not too bad. In terms of connectivity, there's no Bluetooth and no Wi-Fi. You can get the Android version and the same screen version as well. Check the link down below, check the different prices for the different models. On this video, I really like to show this video because you can see the darker scenes and the brighter scenes there. You can see the edges of the screen as well, going to black. Yeah, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about this projector. Of course, if you want to play some games on the big screen, this is the way to do it. This is not me playing, just some video from YouTube. Let me say that because I don't have my Xbox at the moment with me. My point is, if you want to have some fun with friends on the big screen, play some games, I think this is a very nice way to do it. Again, thank you very much for the creator of these small clips that I'm showing. Hope you guys can get the idea how nice it is to play on this big screen. Moving on to the noise test, the final test of the video. So this is just my phone here with the decibel meter. 42, if you move further away, pretty close, around 50 decibels. 
Ovi on the back, closer to the fans. I think the fans are on that side. 56. 54. Around 50. Something. Further away, 40. Let's send the projector off now. It's a good opportunity to see the LEDs. And back on. Of course, I'm doing voiceover. This is not my voice when I did the test, of course. Otherwise, it will interfere with the results. And saying that, guys, let's wrap this video. Overall, I think, in my honest opinion, it's a good, good projector, a native 1080p within a budget price. Don't expect a thousand pounds projector. This is not it. But for the money, I think it does a good job. If you enjoyed this video, if you think it was helpful, leave it a like button and subscribe to the channel. I must thank you very much for watching, guys, and I hope I can see you all in the next one.